Hey guys, okay, so I said that I was going to do another video on um, a review for the products that I bought on my Ulta haul video, and some of the things um, are not what I expected, so I do want to go over them. The first thing that I did pick up was this NYX lipstick, and this is the color. And it, I thought it was going to be like a really pretty um, color, but I think it's just a little too shiny for me. It has a lot of gold in there. I don't know if you guys can see. Probably not, but it has a lot of gold shimmery. I didn't really like it. And I picked up this butter gloss to go with it in creme, Brul creme brulee. And I had already picked this up um, about a year ago. I had one and I ran out of it really quickly. And then um, like right before it was all the way out, I had lost it. So I already knew that I liked this one, which I'm wearing it now. So this was a good one. And then I picked up another lip lipstick, a high voltage lipstick in this like pinkish color. Um, I don't like the way that it goes on. It's very like streaky and it shows like every single line on my lips. So I usually have to like dab it on and then put lip gloss over it. So that's how it looks. Um, I know you can't tell, but um, on the lip it looks, you have to kind of dab it on and not just streak it all the way on or else it'll look silly. And I usually use that with um, this eyeliner that's also from, I think this one's from, yeah, this is NYX. It's called, it's in 840 Rose. Um, this I've had for a while and I actually do like. Sometimes I'll just line my lips and fill them in with this and then put a, a clear gloss over. And that works for me, I really like that actually. Um, what else did I get? I got two eyeliners, which I am wearing um, the pencil in my waterline and then liquid on the top. This is the super skinny marker that I got. The tip looks like this. I don't know, can you see it? Um, I really like it. It's really easy to use. I'm not good at doing winged liner yet, but it is good to even just do the top. It looks, I don't know if you could see, the lighting's so terrible and it's like nine o'clock at night. Um, but I really like the marker one and it stays on all day and then it comes off at night when I wipe it off, it like comes off perfect. And then this is just the pencil that scrolls up, scrolls down. I really like this one too because again, it doesn't come off underneath the eyes, which I hate. So that's a really good buy. Um, what else did I get? I got the NYX HD Concealer. This I really like. Um, I wasn't too sure at first because I knew it was like kind of cheap. And hold on, I don't want to use. It does look like um, like a little watery, but kind of creamy, and it's kind of streaky. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um. But I do like it in the sense of, for the price that it is, it it does, um, you know, it does it does the job, and I'm not gonna return it or anything like that. Um, like I said, for the price, I think it was like two dollars or three dollars. So really, it's not. Um, the best of the best, but it's a decent, it's a decent drugstore. So I like it. I don't really, I'm not, I try not to be too picky because I know I can't buy everything in the world. Then I picked up this Colossal Volume Maybelline Mascara, this cat eye one. So it looks like, looks like that. It's curved and I've been wearing it for two days. And I like it. I don't really like, um, I never tried false lashes. I always use my, my own and just put on mascara. And I actually like how this one like really separates them and makes them 
really fan out and like you know longer I really like that I think this is a good I've always used all of these like I said in my last video I'm always buying Maybelline mascara it's one of my top favorite I love them and then I got the poor professional of course everybody loves this so obviously you know it's a good buy it's very um, thick and creamy feeling it's like smooth soft like silk it feels really nice when you put it on so um, when I put it on I was like wow this feels like it just goes on so smooth and makes my skin so smooth and fills everything in so that was a very good it was ten dollars for this little little sample size but um, it was just worth a try I, I didn't want to buy a big one because I never used it before even though I heard a lot of good things Everyone feels different about everything. Everyone's skin is different. And you really have to be careful with sensitivity and things like that. So you always want to try things first. Try to get samples. Ask if they have free samples. I always try to. I always try to get discounts on stuff just in case. I won't feel as bad as if I spent $20 on one product and I hated it and I couldn't return it. Then I would feel terrible. So all the products um, I mostly love just except for these two lipsticks that I don't really like but I haven't really used this one I only put it on once and it was okay I wasn't really too much of a fan so I don't know I might give it another try and just see like what I can maybe pair with it because it's creamy and I kind of like the color it's just very shimmery with gold I don't know if you can see it was like gold in it I really don't don't really like that don't mind this on my hand that's from tape I had um, my Crohn's disease treatment and they had the little needle he here and then they put the cotton swab and they put tape and all this and it's so hard to come off it's ridiculous so that's like from the day before yesterday so don't mind but yeah I just want to make a quick little video about some products because I know a lot of people get NYX products especially from I think they're at like Target, Ulta, Walgreens things like that so you just have to be careful on some stuff because like I said the lipsticks are 50-50 um, it's some might be really good and some might be not so good um, the concealer was good I haven't tried their mascara because I was kind of sketchy already that I was getting so many products. I was like, oh, let me slow down. And what else? The professional everyone uses. Maybelline a lot of people use. So it's kind of your preference. Um, I, I'm a big fan of Maybelline. I have a lot of stuff Maybelline and some stuff CoverGirl and L'Oreal. So, you know, those are like the three top products that people use. A lot of people use Revlon too, but I think a lot of people more so go to Revlon for lipsticks, which I never do. But, you know, I try to go the cheap way. <laughs> so this is actually the foundation that I use, um, L'Oreal True Match in Natural Ivory C2. That's what I have on today. And then I also have on the NYX concealer and I use the Naked 3 palette for my eyeshadow the NYX eyeliners top and bottom and the Maybelline mascara and then I actually use the Naked 3 brown color it's kind of sparkly but you can't tell when you fill in your eyebrows I did that to my eyebrows and it's funny because my boyfriend actually commented tonight on FaceTime that my eyebrows look arched I don't know if they really do too much um, whatever he's a guy I don't know how he even noticed and then my friend Ashley she also gave me this powder foundation like this whole little kit but I used the bronzing I don't know where she even got this from but I do like the bronzer this is like the bronzer I don't know if that's supposed to be highlighter I kind of just take one of my brushes like to do my contour I use this real text techniques fluffy little brush and I'll just like put it in on both sides and then I'll line where I'm gonna go right in here and then I use my big like blush brush blend it out whatever you know and 
I love this stuff. It's just I don't know like where she got it. I think she got it online or something. So I'll have to ask her. And that's pretty much it. I don't really do um, too much different stuff. I kind of do the same look every day. This is like my everyday thing. And I use the Naked 3 palette. So, you know, um, that's pretty much it. I just want to give a little review and let you know what I'm wearing. And I know that it looks so shiny because I have a huge light over here. And then my makeup light over here. And it's actually like my bedtime. So I have to wipe all this off and probably put my hair up and take out my earrings and go to bed. So I had a long day today and I have a long day tomorrow. So it's my bedtime. Anyway, subscribe to my channel, like my video, share, comment. Um, if you want to know anything else, if you want to know about my Crohn's disease, I'm open to going, you know, going on about that. I know a lot of people probably have it and don't realize it or have it and they're just learning about it or, you know, other people that might not have it but they have friends or family and I know it's a hard situation but someone always ne needs another person to talk to and I'd like to be that person so um, we can share experiences and I can get on here if you guys want to want me to do videos about it you know I can or do videos after my treatments and stuff because my treatments really do help and um, you know I like to be there for people so I'm trying to do not just makeup but also kind of like advice and things like that because you know everyone goes through things and um, I happen to be one of them <sighs> so anyways I'm going to bed so good night guys